Hey there everybody, it's that Forgotten Guy here, and welcome back to Subnautica Below Zero. Now, I need to seek fluid intake. Luckily, there's fucking bladderfish literally right outside my door this time. Come here, you little shit. I need to make you into water somehow. Any more of you? Oh, there's one. Just because uh, I'm about to dehydrate to death. Then, we're going to make a sea truck storage module. And then I have to go get some creep vine seeds to make into uh, lubricant. Vital signs stabilizing. So first things first, let's make this fucking module and figure out how to attach the goddamn thing. Cool. I literally just click on it. Yep. Looks like a fucking sea truck module. Don't know what a sea truck module looks like, so... Whatever. I assume it's just gonna fall into the water. And then presumably I do something to it with my sea truck. I don't. The fuck's wrong. Am I misaligned? Am I on the wrong side? I could be on the wrong side, I guess. My guess is I'm on the wrong side. Let's try the other side. Whoa! Cool, I managed to fucking damage the back, uh... Whoa, what the... What the fuck? Oh, shit, can I heal it from inside? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool. This thing is actually kind of like the Cyclops, I guess. Let's put all my basic building shit in there. Oh, I might as well just convert that one to just titanium then. This can be other shit, like magnetite and diamonds. Uh, hold on. Can I get out through this? Fuck yeah. Okay, that's actually kind of cool. This thing might actually be useful if I can just make it super long and turn it into a cyclops, basically. Let's grab everything I can carry here. Okay, this is pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. Let me quickly start a timer for the episode. There we go. Now then. No, not that. I don't have any more titanium. I don't really have anything to put in this yet. That's okay. What does this hold? Quite a bit. Uh, I guess I'll fill it with fucking batteries and power cells. Um. Yeah, sure. Why not? No, not locker name. Stop that. Uh, this can be the salt bin. Cool, it's full. <laughs> I managed to change this to not white somehow. Perfect. This can be the quartz bin. Perfect. And then I guess this can be the everything fucking else bin. Hold on, let me go get the rest of my goodies. I might eventually need to make more storage modules. It seems like that's probably going to be the thing I make the most of, is fucking storage modules. 
Oh, of course, one table coral is the one thing I can't carry. Now, I don't know how to detach modules once I attach them. Oh, disconnect modules. Okay. That's actually handy. Like, quite handy. Cool. Okay, that's that been figured. That one's full, basically. I think I'm full on storage. Oh, no, I have room here. Those two power cells can go in there. Uh, I have a habitat builder that's fucking empty. Doesn't even have a battery. These are full, right? Yeah. I pretty much need a whole fucking module just for goddamn lithium. But I guess I'll put um, the table coral in that one for now, just so I can get everything out of my escape pod. I just have to keep coming back to the escape pod till I have a fabricator. Because I think I can put a fabricator on this thing using the fabricator module. In fact, I'm going to see what one costs right fucking now. Uh, fabricator. A computer chip and fucking lead. And lead's the one thing I'm having trouble with lately. But that's okay, because I have a fucking sea truck. And it's actually kind of neat. It's a neat concept. A modular fucking truck, basically. Let's see. Okay, so we'll put the last of the table coral in here. And... I guess the beacon. And for the time being, I'll just carry all my lithium. So I need to make a plasteel ingot again. Which means I need to make a titanium ingot first. And then I think it's just lithium, which I have like fucking 40 of on me. That's not how I make titanium. Plasteel. Awesome. Making plasteel. Doing it right. Um, sure. The fuck else do I need? I guess I can view my blueprints here, right? What is this? Oh, plant shelf. Okay, where is my modules for the damn thing? Ultra high capacity tank. I'm sad that I don't have the blueprint for that still. Uh, fabricator module. Computer chip and three lead. I believe computer chips... Stop that. Are expensive, aren't they? Oh, I have enough table coral and enough copper. I just don't have a copper wire. I think I even have the copper on me. I do. And I have enough gold. I just need to get my table coral and I can make a computer chip. And then I just have to track down more fucking lead. That's not where I keep table coral. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Computer chip. All right, now I just need three lead and I can have a fabricator on my fucking that thing. The problem is that finding three lead is kind of a pain in the ass. I also need to get a creep vine seed cluster uh, for to make lubricant so that I can make a biofuel reactor or biofuel thing, a bioreactor, whatever the fuck it's called on uh, a habitat long enough to get the modification station running actually I probably shouldn't be leaving titanium behind since I'm a little low on fucking titanium now I'm burning it all to make fucking extensions to my nightmare ship. It's cool that you can walk around inside of it. It's basically a cyclops now. Oh yeah, my fucking sea moth is dead. That's right. There's one lead. What's this? Mobile vehicle, but hey, a fucking PDA. Ho <laughs> ho! 
The Aurora was the fucking capital ship? That's cool. I didn't know that, to be honest. You know what? It's free titanium. I didn't know the Aurora was the capital ship. That's totally news to me. No. Go fuck yourself, you stupid piece of shit sea monkey. I would stab you to death, but unfortunately there's probably more of you. And I would just be wasting my oxygen. I'm looking for lead right now. I know there's creep vine right here, but... My priority is some fucking lead. That thing's dead. That's right. Keep forgetting my fucking sea glide is dead. Let's go back in here. of silver isn't what I need. Lead. Alright, I'm trying these ones that are chains of silver just because I'm going to need wiring kits eventually. <laughs> Oxygen plant, I need you. Let's go. I hate that sound. The nice thing about this is when the game finally gets this like final story update, which I will play probably for videos, I will be fairly familiar with where everything is in the order of like to do stuff. So that'll be quite nice. Although I will only have a general idea of where stuff is because they're overhauling quite a bit. So maybe I won't have a fucking clue, but hey. Get up on the mobile vehicle bay here. Modules. Fabricator. I don't feel like I'm any more sluggish than I was. This thing has basic storage capacity. It can build its own fucking upgrades? That is awesome. And then this one should still contain a whole bunch of crap. All right, well, let's just offload as much lithium into this bin as I can right now. Fuck me. I still have a lot of lithium. All these other ones are full, right? I mean, that one can hold a little bit. We'll shove a copper and a gold into it. Or actually, no. We'll shove a fucking wiring kit into it. 
and a copper. Is the habitat. So I can get out through here, I take it? That was normal. Um, so there shouldn't be anything on board this, but I'm just gonna check. Perfect, there's nothing. Can I take this with me? Do I have room? I do. Awesome. This is actually cool. I do like this. It's a neat system. All right. We're off to get a creep vine seed cluster from right over here. Yeah, I'll have to be careful how I park because apparently the angle I park at seems to affect the... What the? Okay, I thought that was a brute shark. Why can't I grab the seed vine? Well, there we go. The angle at which I park actually determines the angle I walk inside the motherfucker. Which is a problem. Alright. Let's get this show on the road. We're going to build a habitat near those jellyfish to build a modification station to build a depth upgrade for this thing. I assume that the depth upgrade affects the entire grid and not just the piece I install it in, but I didn't actually check. There might be upgrade slots on the modules too. That would be bullshit. Is that a titan hole fish? What the fuck is happening? Are you having fun, bud? Okay then. That was fucked. So I need to be at almost 150 meters before I will even see those fucking jellyfish things again. But I don't actually know exactly where they were because I didn't have a beacon. And then I'll probably just deconstruct the base after I get everything I need out of it. This terrain looks not correct. I'm gonna just be careful here as I approach in case it loads all fucked up. Oh, that, yeah, that's what I thought. The terrain was wrong. I don't know if these things can hurt me. I assume yes just by virtue of they fucking exist. Why wouldn't they be able to hurt me and all that? That's interesting. Oh, there are a giant eye inside and it fucking tracks? That's nightmarish. Okay, fucking hate these things. God damn. They were actually kind of pretty at first until I realized that they're a big fucking eye. Uh, ew. Alright, this hill looks like a good enough spot, I guess. I don't have the means to seek fluid intake. 
I don't have the means to do anything at the moment. I need actual titanium. Like, I think I need... Nah, that's not titanium either. No, wait, I need eight. And then I need one quartz. That's salt. No, not that. That's good enough. That should anchor to the ground, I would think. Build a fucking hatch right there. Boom. See, now I can go inside. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And then I need titanium, a wiring kit, and lubricant, which I should either have or have the stuff to make. The F. What the hell? Oh, that's fucking retarded. There we go. I wanted to get in, not fucking detach both modules. Jesus. Oh yeah, this is the fabricator. I can make stuff here, like fucking lube. All right, and then I just need, what do I need? Titanium? And a wiring kit. Those fucking jellyfish are really goddamn annoying. It's occurring to me. Goddamn. Okay, it works exactly the same as the bioreactor did in the last game, which is fucking perfect. Except that there's absolutely zero fucking small fish here that I can see anywhere. Seek fluid intake immediately. Yes, I'm well aware of the risk here, motherfuckers. I'm... Actually, I could... Uh, how do I do it? Disinfected water, right? Water. I can't make disinfected water? What the tits? I just need to get over here where there's small fish that I can try to get a bladder fish out of. I might be fucked here, and if I die, I don't know what happens if I'm piloting this thing. I assume it'll just stop, and I'll have to get back to it, but... Who knows? Gonna be cutting her close. I'm just keeping my eyes peeled for bladder fish here, because they're basically the only thing that's gonna get me alive. I'm almost at my fucking habitat.
I'm gonna be cutting this close. I see bladderfish. Alright, stop here, get out. Quickly, get the fuck out. Catch bladderfish with bare hands. Come here, motherfuckers. I'll build a aquarium module eventually and just fill it with fucking bladderfish. Or like bladderfish and peepers. And just make a fucking stockpile of food. Nah, you're fine. Seek fluid intake. Shut up, game. I'm fucking making goddamn liquid water. Vital signs stabilizing. <laughs> I just killed a hoop fish. Oh well. All right, I gotta see something. It might just be me. Oh, I just killed a second hoop fish. <laughs> Goddamn hoop fish, get out of my way. I gotta see if you can still make the other, like the disinfected water, whatever the fuck it's called. Hey. Nah, filtered is the only option now. So bleach is obviously no longer a thing. Which is fair, I guess. But it kind of annoying because it was technically it's technically less expensive there's fucking salt everywhere like salt's one of the few things I can fucking find oh yeah I might as well catch some fish while I'm here because I need fuel for my fucking bioreactor goddamn hoop fish get back here Oh, these are fake hoopfish. <laughs> hoopfish, boomerangs. I think spadefish were the best thing I found in the last game. But I haven't seen any spadefish in this game. I'm catching the bladderfish just to make fucking bottled water out of them. Okay, my inventory's full. I'm gonna go back over to my sea truck. Make as much bottled water as I can. And then take the rest of these fish to the bioreactor. This is not, I need to make fucking water first. What am I, stupid? I literally made a, just like a, I made a statement and then didn't follow through with it. Perfect. I should have enough fish to fill a bioreactor completely. Oh, I didn't. God damn it. I didn't put a beacon at the bioreactor and stuff, though. Which is a problem. I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm going to take the bioreactor with me when I'm done. 
I'm going to take a whole base with me when I'm done. Because this thing is just going to be my mobile base. But the modification station might be my only solution to getting certain equipment. So I may have to leave it there. This looks like the spot. It's got that weird texture fuck up right there. there but that's okay modification station is quite expensive I mean I guess I could have a battery charger here too though I could have quite a few things here I could have an aquarium for basically producing uh, <laughs> producing biofuel I could have all kinds of things I don't think I need any of this shit like the battery charger, the fabricator, the uh, aquarium, and the modification station would be good to have. Alien containment is a bit big. But that's okay. I can connect more stuff if I needed to, like a scanner room. Oh, a scanner room might be the solution to my problem, actually, because it would be able to tell me if there's a passage through here. Like, through that way. I mean, hold on. Let me get rid of my PDA, which is now stuck up for some reason. There we go. Okay, I want to... Hold on. Jellyfish. There's not a fucking lick of information about them. That's bad. Spiky. Wow. Thanks, guys. So...
glass is uh, inexpensive. So since I think this is going to become a permanent habitat of its own, I might as well be able to see out of the fucking thing. Welcome aboard, Captain. So I need to get quartz. I don't know if there's any materials out here. I mean, there's certainly tons of these jellyfish things. I think they're not dangerous. They are definitely fucking dangerous. Okay, good to know. <laughs> I love when I make a statement and it is immediately proven wrong. <laughs> I think they're not dangerous. Fucking electrocuted to death. Oh, no, they're dangerous. Good to fucking know. I uh, won't do that again. Now I know they're dangerous, though. See, I learned. I did some science, and I fucking figured some shit out. This is a dangerous game I'm playing, because I just kind of fucked off away from my, uh, <laughs> my sea truck and everything to find quartz. Except that I have 120 meters from the surface. And my sea glide battery's fucking dead. I don't need copper. I need fucking quartz. Those things are awfully grumbly for being pretty much completely harmless. You can ride them. Hello, Titan Hole Fish. You're still cool. I need air, though. Awesome. You're a cool guy, you know that? Yeah, you're pretty neat. I like swimming through these guys. Replenish oxygen! What? What? I can replenish my oxygen from the Titan Hole Fish. Didn't know this. That could be useful, probably. I don't actually know how useful that could be, because the Titan Hole Fish is kind of limited. No. Go fuck yourself, you stupid, pretentious fuckhead. Just hoovering up all the quartz in the area. There's more quartz. And more quartz. Grab all the fucking quartz. Hate that sound. Ah, motherfucker, you missed. Oh, my inventory filled up. Okay, well, that's a problem. I'm gonna cut you, motherfucker. Did you just take my fucking knife? Give me that, you little shit. I'm gonna fucking stab you with it. Where'd you go? Come here. Fuck face. Yeah, it's not very fucking funny, is it, you little bitch? Inventory. I'm carrying a lot of quartz. That should be tons. Mr. Titan Holefish, can I have some air? 30 seconds. They don't give you very much air. That's the downside. There's tons of them, but they don't give very much air. They give like 10 seconds worth. Now 
Nah, it's too far. It's 50 meters to the surface or 300 to the fucking sea truck. <laughs> Might as well head for the surface. <laughs> At least I can make that. Yeah, the part where the jellyfish is just a gargantuan eyeball, that's fucking not okay. I actually hate that, like, more than anything I've ever hated in any of these games. Like, goddamn, do I hate that. Especially the fact that it looks at you as you go by. That's fucking god-awful. Like, no. <laughs> Don't do that. that's enough glass. I'm not 100% certain of that, though. Point four. <laughs> we are technically still structurally sound, but just barely. <laughs> Yeah, I don't like that area. Oh, I need actual solid surfaces. Oh, I can put it in the hallway, though. Cool. I can make most of it. I just need two copper, which I might not have on my ship, actually. One copper? Shit. Gotta go back over here and smash a rock or two to find some copper. Then swim back and make a fabricator. Then I'll have a fabricator in that uh, that little base. Then I can get to work on the modification station, which is quite a bit more expensive. Fuck, I don't have any goddamn food. I mean, okay, so let's... I don't have any food, but let's see what the solution to that would be. That's not quite what I need. The solution would be the first fish I see that I can catch becomes dinner. I can't eat a penguin. I can eat a peeper. As long as I get it before that penguin does. Come on, get back here, you little fuck. I mean, I'll eat the peeper raw, I guess. It's not a big help, but it helps. Let's see if I can catch a couple more peepers. In fact, if I catch enough peepers, I could build an aquarium to keep peepers on the base. As a food supply for the bioreactor. And for myself. There's a peeper. I want to use peepers because I believe they're the best for calories. I mean, I'm basing that off the original peeper, but I assume that they're basically the same 
fish. Get back here, you little fart. I need you. Goddamn peeper, you're fast. Lead. Fuck yeah. Could this one be lead too? That'd be cool. That's not lead. It is in fact titanium. A thing I don't presently need. What the fuck is that? Grav trap fragment. Cool. I'll have a grav trap. I mean, I don't really know how that'll help me, but I'll have one. Fucking why not? Sea trucks over there. Hello, Titan Oldfish. I'm just gonna jack some oxygen. I didn't realize I could get air from them. That's really cool. I mean, it's totally fucking useless because they don't give you enough to even make it to the next one before you're fucking out again. But hey, it helps. Okay, down we go. I have four peepers. I will cook however few it takes to get my hunger up to basically where my water is. The rest, minimum of two, are going in an aquarium to feed the bioreactor in the future. And I'm going to put a beacon at this base so I can find it more easily in the future. I don't like that these things are eyeballs still. It bugs me. Every time I see it, it's just like, oh good, nightmares. Like, fucking no thanks. I could get away with one, I think. Because that gives me a chance to Welcome aboard, Captain. to try to basically hatch as many as I can. actually had enough quartz to make two glass. I wasn't expecting that. Perfect. Computer chip, titanium, diamond, and lead. I have lead, right? Yeah. So I just need titanium, uh, diamond, and a computer chip. And the computer chip is the only thing I might not be able to make. Because I have one titanium. I have diamonds. But I don't have the components for a computer chip, do I? Okay, here's a better question. Do I have any batteries that aren't dead? Zero. A hundred. I 
habitat builder back. I'm down to 9% power, but that's okay. I have two full power cells and two dead power cells. I've got another habitat builder for some fucking reason. I have a beacon which I need to actually deploy. The, that door is fucked. base. Had to happen eventually. I had to build a fucking base. I don't appear to be able to change the damn color of the beacon itself. At least I don't believe I can. That's okay, I guess. I've got air inside. I just don't have enough of the stuff I would need to actually do this. Because I need the computer chip first and foremost. Which I don't have. I also don't know how long it takes peepers to breed. And I don't know if they can breed without being in the alien containment now that I think about it. This little terrarium might not be useful to me. I mean, it's worth a try. heading over to get a bunch of copper and shit and a bit more uh, glass or uh, uh, quartz for glass and I'll see what I can get built on the base before the end of this episode at which point I will probably end it there also if I see any more peepers I'll probably try to catch them just because then I have the actual peepers. Hey, there's the other piece of the graph trap. There's another piece of the fucking graph trap. I don't know why my vision gets all fuckity woogity sometimes. If it's supposed to be Alan, like, gonna talk to me, he Majesty. never fucking does. Copper. That's one of the things I need. First, I need air, though, or I'm gonna fucking die. Down I go. Okay. So I need a bit more copper. Ideally some more lead couldn't hurt. Just because I could use some extra storage. But I could live without storage for now. Ooh, lead. Uh, propulsion cannon. Yeah, I've never been a big propulsion cannon guy, though. I mean, it's okay if you're on land fighting, like, the... Whatever those crab things were called before. Cave crawlers or whatever. They were little shits and I hated them. It was fine for, like, them, but... Realistically, I never used it on anything else. I much preferred the stasis rifle. Well, I'm not sure if the stasis rifle is in this game. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but then again, it seems like there's a fair few things that aren't in this game that are in the other one, which kind of doesn't make sense as well. You'd think Altera's hardware wouldn't have changed all that much. 
Inventory full. Oh, geez. That's a problem because I need one more copper. Hey, is this copper? No. I got 36 seconds, but I could make the surface from here if I had to. 30 seconds. Fuck me. That's what I'm looking for. I'll drop a titanium for a copper. Okay, that titanium is fucked. Why is that titanium so fucked up? I mean, whatever. I'm not going to question it anymore. Yeah, let's just fucking... Sea glide off in the blindness. What could go wrong? I have 75 seconds to cover 200 meters. I think I can do that. Should be fairly easy. We'll get in the base. We will use the fabricator to fabricate more glass and we'll use the uh, habitat builder to try to build as much of the modification thing as I can. Although I need a computer chip, so I better go in here first, I guess. Because I actually need to make a computer chip, and I don't even fucking remember what I need for that. But I believe gold is one of the things that I need. Oh, fuck, I need table coral, which I don't have. Okay. Hold the fucking phone. Let's go inside here. Let's use this fabricator to make copper wire. Let's you let's make a wiring kit, why not? Uh let's make two glass. Let's build this. Boom. There is a whole what, three peepers still? Yeah. Alright, once there's four, I'll take two of them out and put them in this one. But until that happens, I don't have a reason to do that. Now, I might as well chug some water, because I'm going to die soon. I need... Huh. I need table coral, and I don't think I can get it over here. The only place I can get it with certainty is the fucking windy, twisty death bridge over here. Like, down in that cave, and I don't know if I want to go down there. I mean, I will. I don't want to, but I can. I have before, and I will probably have to again. Might as well be now. But, um, I'm also near the end of the episode, so I kind of didn't want to get on a stupid expedition right at the end. That may or may not even be fucking worth it. Because I didn't see any around here. Table Coral is a lot more rare in this game than it was in the original Subnautica. Those, uh, those things that make all the grumbly noises that are almost completely harmless, they look a lot like Anomalocaris there. The, like, fucking super predator from a few billion years ago that was like three feet long 
<laughs> Not much of a fucking super predator when you think about it. It's what they look like. They even, like, swim the way that you always see them depicted as having swim. Uh, having swam. I mean, we don't know how they swim, because they kind of died out, like, oh, fucking two and a half billion years before we d we even came around. Fuck, they, w they were long dead by the time the dinosaurs fucking came around. I just need some fucking table coral. I wish I'd pay more attention to my fucking oxygen instead of being such a goddamn spaz. Alright, this is the biome. How much slot do I have? I have nine slots. Let's just get as much fucking table coral as we can goddamn carry. Perfect, some lead too. That helps. Table coral. Give me this. Is this got lead? Nope. I'm here for table coral and fucking lead if I see it. Yeah, I'm aware. I don't know what happened with that brood shark. I would have sworn he should have been able to get a free hit in, but he failed. So we're just gonna pretend like nothing happened. Because, well, nothing happened. Like, it's not even pretend, I guess. He just didn't do anything to us. He had every opportunity. I stopped to fuck around with table coral. Okay, cool, you're not interesting. What is that? Oh, it's table coral, it's just at a weird angle. Come here, motherfucker. Go away. The fuck lost. Stab the shit right out of ya. Little bastard. I ain't got time for you. What could I drop? I could drop a gold, but gold's fairly difficult to find. I could drop fucking lithium, I guess. I have 10 billion of those. No, I want the fucking table coral, please. Hello, peeper. One of these is my fucking base. There it is. Let's head back to the base, finish the shit we were working on, and then we will call that an episode. This one's going to be a little longer than the last few, but that's okay. We're making good progress, considering I don't have a fucking clue what I'm supposed to be doing. But, realistically, all this has so far been so that I can try to get past the goddamn jellyfish here with my, what the hell? With my sea truck, which can't currently do it. 
Oh, this is the thing that had all the fucking uh, battery like shit. That sounded very close. Whatever. I am going to be once again cutting it close on food. I mean, nothing I can do about it, but... It would have been neat in both games if you could have made the nutrient blocks. How imminent? It's a 10. Calm down. I got enough time to fix that problem, probably. I mean, that's just the time I'm wrong, and I don't, but hey. If I die in my base, I'll just respawn in my fucking base without being starved. 30 seconds. Yes, I realize. It's okay, I'm at my fucking base. Ooh, get in there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thanks for that. Game. Why did you lock up again? Jesus. Still only three of you? Yeah. Alright, well, that's a thing. You need a goddamn computer chip. Give me that. No, not that. Fuck me, that didn't actually help in any goddamn way. Because I still... Don't know how to make the fucking depth upgrade for my goddamn submarine. Okay, well that's kind of a pain in the ass, but whatever. Wait, what? What does that mean? Um, you, uh, you can fuck off, my friend. I don't like those things still. Put a battery charger on this other wall, I guess. What's it need? Wiring kit, copper wire, and titanium. I have the titanium. And fuck all else. <laughs> Cool, I could get a wiring kit from my ship. I think I have a wiring kit somewhere. I have one on me, what the fuck? Oh, hey, I saw that that was basically empty. Let's fill it with fucking lead and gold. Perfect. <laughs> I found somewhere to put the goddamn uh, thingy. I just don't know how to get copper wire when I keep fucking forgetting. So I guess for now, I'll just end the episode here with my two hunger that's left. Because I'm going to die any goddamn second. <laughs> Yeah, the one thing I don't have is fucking copper wire. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess. But, um... Yeah. I mean... That's really all I've got for you guys for now. So, uh... Until next time. I will see all of you. 
in the future. 